as far as an amplitude and a period, we're in pretty good shape. So let's go with the general form. Let's make this a cosine. Um, so if you guys notice, we need to figure out our amplitude and our, and our period. Now, this problem is fairly easy as I'm looking at, I don't really have a number in front of my cosine except for negative one, right? But that's not really going to extend it anywhere larger than up one or um, down one. So I'm gonna take the absolute value of my A, which is negative one, which is gonna leave me one, which that is the amplitude of your regular graph. But we do notice since it's negative, I'm going to have a reflection, right? So I'm gonna to wanna to write a reflection. So remember when you have a, a negative sign outside of your function, you're going to reflect your x-axis. Okay? Um, and then we need to figure out the period, which is 2 pi divided by b. What number is in front of my x? That's 1. 2 pi over 1 equals 2 pi. So let's go ahead and uh, get a graph here. Now, on the last example, I showed you one where we had plus or minus outside the function, right? And that showed us to do up and down. Now we have a plus or minus, we have a minus, and it's inside the function because it's in the parentheses. That's going to tell us to shift left or right. So first thing we need to do, guys, is remember the same thing I told you. You find, um, you find our amplitude, which is bob to 1 to negative 1, right? Amplitude is the distance from your x-axis, how high your graph is going to go up, how high your, or how, and then how far your graph is going to go down from the x-axis. Our period is how long it takes us to complete one cycle. So, um, now, just like, just like the sine graph, there's four important points. It's a little bit different though with the cosine as, remember we start, not only start up here, but it crosses the y-axis here. Then we're gonna have two intercepts, a midpoint or a uh, minimum, and then it's gonna go back up to its maximum. So it's gonna end its cycle up here. Then I'm going to have two intercepts, and I'm going to have a minimum point. Okay, now then I'm just going to draw exactly what uh, the first, like the parent graph looks like so you guys can remember. But one thing we need to notice, guys, is this is a reflection. So instead of drawing, if you guys remember, a regular cosine graph would look like this as it goes infinitely, keeps on going, right? However, one thing you guys notice is this is a reflection. So rather than starting up here, I need to flip this over. So now my graph is actually gonna start down here. All right? And the next thing we need to, uh, so my graph, rather than going like its parent graph, is gonna start down here. And it's actually gonna go up, cross, and then it's gonna end down in this area. So let's just go ahead and um, we're, I'm going to show you guys a shortcut on how to deal with horizontal translations for the next part, which I didn't show you last class. But let's just kind of work on this, just graphing the paragraph and then seeing how it's going to look. So if I graph with my reflection without a translation, my graph looks like this. Now, how do I know what these two points are? Well, if that's 2 pi, obviously I know that's pi then this one has to be half of that, which would be pi over two, and this would be three pi over two. You could also, you're like, well, how did you figure that out? Remember, you guys can do two pi over four equals pi over two. Remember I said there's four important points? So you take those four important points, and you say four, you take your period, divide it by four, and that means the interval between each important point is one half, or is pi over two. So pi over two, pi over two plus pi over two is pi. Pi plus pi over two is three pi over two. Three pi over two plus pi over two is two pi over two. So if you guys look at this now, so here's my graph, right? Here's what my paragraph would have, or at least the first period of my paragraph. It says x minus pi. So that's gonna tell me I'm gonna shift my whole graph pi units to the right. So therefore, in, instead of like this point being here, this point is now gonna use pi units to the right. So it's gonna go over here. This point is gonna go over here. Is that right? Why are the points moving over here? Huh? Why are the points moving over here? 
because look at them we have a horizontal oh. translation okay. so we're shifting the whole graph so as I continue <laughs> so this would be 3 pi that's 4 pi so what essentially all I'm doing is I'm taking these points and I'm moving them over pi units so this is now going to look something like that. And then this will come up. And remember it says you graph in two periods, right? So what you guys notice is it's pretty much the exact same graph. All it is is just being shifted pi units to the right. All right? And then what we can do is erase really our parent graph. I just use the parent graph to kind of show you guys um, how to find the rest of them. But just remember this graph infinitely continues to go to the left and right infinity. We're just usually, we're just graphing the two periods. Um, just remember guys, when you're graphing this, there's very, very important points you need to understand. Just find the amplitude. That's gonna tell you the height. Find the period. The, the, how long it's gonna take it for it to complete one cycle. Then take your period, divide it by four. That's gonna tell you what the increments are of the cycle. Then just depending on if it has a reflection or a translation, just alter your graph accordingly from the parent graph, and then you can graph it. So next up, what I'll do is I'll show you a, uh, I'll show you guys a tip on how to help us with when we're doing horizontal translations. All right, because there's a little tip. Because that negative. negative. Yep. Just like remember, remember this um, x squared and negative x squared. Mm -hmm. Right. Same kind of thing. Like if this originally I'm down, then if the reflected part, then it's going to come back from that way. You know. So, all right, that's it for cosine. Everybody